The following review has been approved by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. Come see me at Replay FX this weekend in Pittsburgh. I'll be signing copies of Lord Carnage and the uh, best of Classic Game Room films. So, in fact, I need to get ready to go. See you soon. Boo. Welcome to Drawing with Lord Carnage. This is your artist and writer, Mark Bussler creator of Lord Carnage and artist and writer of Ethel the Cyborg Ninja and producer of Classic Game Room and general uh, all-around nice guy, sometimes, maybe, depending on who you ask. But uh, what, I'm, what I'm doing now is cleaning up Ethel the Cyborg Ninja book one. I have uh, put down about 115 pages of art for the book at the moment and going back to the beginning and just refining everything, making some editorial changes, cleaning up all the art, and I go through in waves, so probably still a few more passes to go. But as, I, as I've been drawing Ethel the Cyborg Ninja book one, I changed the design of Errol, this spaceship, which is, uh, this is her spaceship here. And um, I actually made a clay model of Errol, if you can see that. I'll show it to you later. And I've been using that as the new model uh, for, the, for the book, so I replaced the old Errol with this one and and that shot there. And I'm actually working on the dashboard as well. Uh, here's page page six. So if you see any typos or you know editorial issues, don't worry about it. That stuff gets cleaned up before the ending. But well, I ended up changing a couple shots just to reflect some various uh, style changes I made to Ethel and her, her eyes and her expressions and her hair and whatnot. I still got some cleanup work here to do on her swords and I've done uh, more detail on her, on her pistol. There's a shot of, of Arrow, which is larger than it looks actually, because she can hop out of the uh, thing here underneath it, and is flying towards this uh, giant rock. Which the big creepy asteroid floating out in the middle of nowhere, <clears throat> and she's uh, looking for her dad, which is one of the main plot points. But of course, it gets absolutely ludicrous from there. Did some work on this a few days ago, cleaning up uh, page, this is page 11 of the book. And uh, one of the things I'm trying to do is make each page look really nice by itself. So I think I'm gonna leave this shot here, even though Errol's flying in space with the tentacles starting to come out and grab, grab the ship from uh, Vectronics 9000. I'm gonna leave it inverse with the white background. And here is a shot of Vectronics 9000, which I, uh, I'm spending a lot of time making, as you can see. I have all these old books of uh, antique generators and whatnot from uh, my documentary days, so I go through and start picking out pieces of old generators and old electronics and dumping it in with references to some video game systems and whatnot. And that's uh, what we're looking at here, is, is Vectronics 9000, which is the uh, main bad guy in Ethel the Cyborg Ninja. So this is still a work in progress. I'm gonna just work on this until I really am just pretty much done with the book. This is one of these like late night things. I'll just do 20 minutes here and there. Page uh, page 13, where I get, once again, I end up redrawing Errol the spaceship, making some design changes on Ethel's spacesuit. And uh, 14 is one I just did a few days ago, cleaned up a few days ago, where I replaced a shot of Ethel here with the uh, giant tentacle eyeball laser shooting thing chasing Errol, and then put Vectronics 9000 here. And this is the, uh, these lines that go out. I've been using a Photoshop to just draw straight lines, and then I fill them in and merge all the layers later. This is taking, uh, taking a hell of a lot of time, obviously. But I like to pack the book with details so that you can read it more than once and always find new stuff. So I really like to give the book a lot of replay value, as I say. Which is probably a stupid thing that I'm saying, but that's still what I like to say. We were jumping up to page 27, which is, which is fun. It's um, where she's lounging around the spaceship in her underwear. But it's more than just fan service because she actually has the uh, tattoos and constellations all over her. And uh, Edit Station 1 slips her a code. Uh, during during the uh, previous battle inside Vectronics 9000, which they um, then uh, figure out is actually a map that leads to, uh, well, you'll see. I don't want to give it away. 
And then we pick up the next uh, part of the book in Truxton, New York, which is a real place. Here's what I was just drawing this morning. I left, uh, every now and then what I'll do when, when I finish a page layout is leave a frame that's gonna be a pain in the ass till later when I can spend a little more time on it and see how much more time I have left, which at this point is not much, but I put a lot of detail into Sloppy's Roadside Grill where we have a wind squid knocking one of the biker punks out of the window. And I like to put lots of just detail in, in the windows and various uh, bizarre advertisements and stuff. And then here we have Jesus the cooked up chicken being saved by Space Gar in the background. And uh, of course Jesus is a lot of fun to write. They're all fun in their own right, but uh, Jesus is definitely a blast since, um, well, he's Jesus. <laughs> this is how he sees. And uh, we find themsel we find the characters inside a game called Ultra Ever Pony Quest and Craft 8X Alpha, which is powered by Vectronics 9000 as the game engine. And inside the game, Jesus built a castle out of dirt and filled it with magic color ponies. This is actually the most recent drawing I just did for the book. And um, just looking at it now, I probably could clean up a few of these lines in here. The way I look at the lines, at, at the inking, is it doesn't have to be perfect. If anything, I think that a rougher style that actually looks like it was done by hand instead of in, inside Illustrator or something is better. Because at least this way you know it came from a human. You know, if you, if you believe that I'm human. Clones are human. I like to add rivets to everything. If I'm just sort of tired and messing around or just want to spend 20 minutes here and there, I will go through and uh, clean up a lot of the debris left around the edges. Which is uh, part of the reason I decided to go totally digital on this book. For the last book I did, Lord Carnage, this took forever. While Ethel is a much larger book and it's taking forever, it's at least, it's for different reasons. It's taking forever just because it's a larger book. Not because I don't have the best tools. But I've still got some um, various shading decisions to make on her, uh, on her outfit. This is actually the uh, undersuit for her Samba Super Alpha Mecha Battle Armor. Um, which you can see she still has some parts of it wrapped around here on her, where her jets fit onto her back. Various pieces of armor fit onto her. And she's holding a flamethrower because it's, you know, one of my books. But here we still have some sketches in the background that you can see. So I can take those lines in and out. I, if I'm going direct digital drawing, I will draw on a layer with the opacity drop down. Which if you've seen some of the previous videos, you might be able to uh, see me doing that. Actually, I got some of my layers out of whack over here. Sometimes I will do actual pencil sketch work, which, I, which I've done here. If I take the pencil sketch, or if I take the inks off, you can see there's a pencil sketch of Ethel there. So depending on what the drawing is, I will sometimes do it straight digital or pencil sketch it first. So there you go. Uh, Ethel the Cyborg Ninja will be delivered to the Kickstarter backers first as soon as I'm done with it. And this uh, should be for sale from Classic Game Room later in the year. All the usual places like ClassicGameRoom.com, Amazon, eBay. And it should be a, look, well, I, th I think it's looking to be a pretty good book. Wish I could work faster, but I am not a coked up space chicken, sadly. See you next time. Drawing with Lord Carnage. Thank you. <laughs>